everywhere, everywhere. And the fact that you can tap into that, that doesn't exist. It's not normal for people to have that level of powerful network in all parts of the world. It's the reason we're in over 150 countries, so our mission is still strong. I want to make sure we've got in every single continent savage traders with a great mindset that we can tap into. So for me, it's, we're moving in the right direction. Usually some networks, they won't take advantage of you. Mm. Other networks. Falcon does the opposite. For example, if uh, I grow, you grow, you grow, I will grow. You know, with the same my coaches, the same the, my all the network. You have to put the work you need to do to change your mentality and to be successful. To believe in yourself and then in the strategy. Like so I said, you. your attitude from day one is very, very clear. And I'm sure now students listening, they're going to be infected by that in a very positive way. Maybe some people I have hope. been very casual. So I, I, no, ho no, I, I hope, hope everybody well. gonna follow that and the group's gonna be even bigger, you know? Hello guys and girls, welcome back to another episode on Inside the Mind. Joining with me is one of our funded traders. He's recently just passed his assessment. Big welcome, Thanos. Thank you for taking the time to jump on. And firstly, of course, congratulations on this achievement. I know this has been, uh, you've been working really, really hard to this and it's probably a big relief that you've now achieved this milestone. So congrats for me to you. How are you feeling? I feel great. I feel nice. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation too. Uh, yeah, since uh, I passed that segment, I feel more calm. And first uh, goal achieved uh, before Q3 is end. So I have like four more months to scale up and move forward. Love that. Love that. Well, for those of you that have not heard about your story, your journey, you know, how long you've been trading for the next kind of 20, 30 seconds. I mean, let us know how has it been for you? How long you've been trading when you joined Falcon, etc. I've been trading since 2017. I joined Falcon 10 months ago. I was in very difficult time through my trading and uh, I talked to a member with Falcon. He introduced me to Falcon. I had a membership for a month. I loved it because they gave me the answers I was looking for since the first day, day one, I was trading. And then I got the yearly plan to be focused, consistent, disciplined, what I need to do and move forward. Love that. Do you know the one thing I noticed about, because I remember when you joined and you was active pretty much straight away, you always had a really great attitude. That's the one thing I, I wanted to compliment you on that straight away because your attitude towards learning, I think has landed you exactly where you are for now. I think that's a big, big part. Lots of people take things personally. If you give them criticism, sometimes I take that personally where I feel like you just took it on board very easily. You want to figure out what you're doing wrong, what you're doing right, and just move forward. Have you felt that yourself with that type of attitude? Actually, I'm very open. You know, when I take any information, my coaches, for example, they're a little bit brutal, but they want me to succeed. They have nothing benefit for me, not succeeding. Exactly. So they're like very tough to me. You know, you need to change this, to do that, to, to change the other thing. So I was like, okay, I have to do it. If you want to move forward, do it. You, you, the thing you do now, you don't move forward as much as you want. So follow what they say and see if you move. And here we are. It's as simple as that. If more people could understand that, they would actually progress, which I absolutely love. So how does it feel now that you've put in the work, you've arrived here, you're at the next stage, your portfolio asset manager, which is an amazing achievement, especially with the, the potential that is going to come with this and the type of capital you can scale up to. Do you feel, you feel, you said you feel calm and, and relieved now. Talk us through the yes. emotions of going through the assessment. Actually, through the assessment, I was a little bit, uh, was a little bit stressful. Honestly, I passed the assessment after my fourth uh, trade, mm -hmm. so the percentage, and mm -hmm. then I had to take the trading days, which is like yeah. uh, also stressful because you have to be very disciplined, no stress, don't take wrong trades, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but now I feel because I have like uh, things to achieve through the reward. So one was to pass the assessment because now I have all the time with me. I know I need to just two or three times double up and then I will be free as I'm looking for. And I don't have any stress to take to to push it even to AFT right now. You know, I'm mm -hmm. taking just good trade, even a trade per week would be, make me happy. Like three, four, five percent is fine. You know, it's no big deal. And the the capital will be like very huge, which is like even five percent would be like a lot of money as well. Mm -hmm. So no reason to be stressed to be 
FOMO, no, nothing. Quiet and just stable moving forward. Consistent and disciplined, first of all. Yeah, that's what I love. Your discipline, your focus, you know the, you clearly know the numbers. Is there a, a number that you're aiming for that gives you that that freedom completely? I believe uh, three, four scale up. Three, four scale up. Okay, nice. Yeah, which is like can be possible until possibly like the next five, six months. It's not, it's possible, you know, with mm-hmm. like six months for the freedom of the rest of your life. It's amazing. If you think about it, like no one will believe it. Yeah, so well, that, that, that's yeah. very close. That's within reaching. Does it feel now that you've passed the assessment, does it feel like it's within reaching distance that so you've got the sense of relief? Now, you know, look, two, three doubles, you're, you're there. Yeah, actually, I feel much closer than I was before because the assessment, I think, is the biggest step. If you cross the line, you are in the other side right now. Mm-hmm. You're more quiet. Also, you prove yourself like it's a, let's say it's a football team, you know, and mm-hmm. uh, you won a very big game, but you have a championship, but mm-hmm. you won the derby, the biggest game. So you have more confidence in yourself. You know, the thing you do there, right? You have people around you. You have the community, the coaches, you have you, the meetings you have once per week. So if something I feel is wrong, I can talk to anybody in the group and I can get different opinions and to see, to, to put me back in the right order if I'm not. Mm-hmm. So passing that, I have more confidence in myself as well. And then I trust now for a year almost, I trust the group and everything. So that helped me a lot. That's amazing. And of course, I had the pleasure of meeting you very recently at the the Falcon meetup. To, uh, talk us through that. That's, that seems like that was so close. That wasn't long ago at all. How um uh, how did you find uh, going to the meetup, meeting people that you've spoken to him online for a period of time? How was that like? Was you have you ever been in an environment like that before? No, some a few meetings I had in San Francisco with the, through traders and stuff mm. when I was living there. When I started trading, I was in San Francisco actually, 2017. I was living there, but that was the reason I I came to to London to to meet uh, first of all the team, you and the coaches. Uh, very close and also to see the environment uh, honestly the people i'm staying still with in touch with them i feel like a brother from another mother seriously mm-hmm. because I, I we've been through three of us the same situation different part of the world different maybe some some people on their ladder are different but we're in the same phase everybody it was like for me it was amazing because we feel so connected no when you go to introduce yourself, like, oh, hi, uh, this is Amthano, you know, Mark, whatever. And you feel like you know him, like, since forever. I don't know, your childhood, your best mm-hmm. friend forever, you know? So I feel so nice, so warm. And all the energy I'm getting from the live, uh, online meetings, etc. I'm I got more strong in the live, the physical uh, mm-hmm. contact. Which, that's why I went there, to meet you and the, the rest of the team as well. Yeah, that's amazing. And I love that. And everyone always experiences the same thing. When you meet these people in person, you realize... They're just like me, same struggles, different part of the world, similar situations. We all go through the same stuff, but you realize that, right, there's not many people that have a tight circle around them that genuinely want them to do well, because normally there could be a conflict of interest. You know, if, if one of your friends that you grew up with and they're doing really, really well, they might see you doing really well, but they, they have no benefit to that because maybe themselves, they've not pushed themselves. Where in this environment, they know that they have the same resources as you. We're all working towards a common goal. And I think that is something that should be harnessed and is something really rare. How did you feel having just people, congr- so many people congratulate you for actually getting to this stage? I always want to ask that question because I know that's not normal for people. Most people don't have hundreds of people saying, you know what? congratulations and actually mean it did that was that an interesting feeling for you yes actually honestly because i grew up uh, i had my past was like very successful like a studio I studies have two masters and two bachelor's degrees i never heard like congratulations apart from my mother my sister who's like for me like many people are like very close congratulate me and, and i know they feel it like the people i'm close they text me in instagram whatsapp and discord everywhere they can they call me if you them so I feel very, very emotional and very nice, you know, very successful. That's why I think I release my all the stress I have because you feel you feel like, OK, you've done your first goal. Now you, you see people congratulate you, you know, that that means, OK, part of your team is, is, is happy with you, celebrating with you. And now you're moving forward. That's it's so nice. The feeling so nice, so nice. I cannot describe it with words, actually. Well, I'm I'm glad you've experienced it, and you're going to experience that many times over as you start to reach these higher levels. It is it's going to be incredible. What I've noticed 
and I'll be curious to ask you a question of this about um, you've gone through rewired, right? And psychological things and all the things that you've progressed through. If I could get a profile of a successful trader, 90% is all the same. 90%, you wouldn't know who they were, but 90%, because everyone is different in personality, different upbringing, different life circumstances, but 90% of the things you could almost say, they all have that. And two key things is definitely... I would say self-image. So the image of themselves, they've got a fire about them that they're, they're confident within themselves. They trust themselves to make the right decisions and they're clear on who they are and they have clear goals. So those are two key things because identity, self-esteem, you have to believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, you could have all the knowledge in the world. You'll never progress. You might get a little bit and you get pegged back down because this, this image that you have, you see yourself as unsuccessful and poor, it will never work. And then the other side, if your goals are too wishy-washy you're like oh maybe it's 100k maybe it's 120 like they don't know the numbers it's like they need to know you need to know what is it that is going to buy my freedom you have to be very clear on that i noticed that in yourself and i noticed that on every single person who has got to the next stage all have that in common is there anything for yourself for when you went things like rewired for example was that the first psychological kind of program you went through or have you been working on this actively over the years like psychology etc how have you kind of worked on your mind over the years I used to write, I used to journal a lot. That helped me a lot, changed my life. Literally, if you ask the people I know here in Greece, I always tell them, start writing, guys. You don't believe it. Mm -hmm. So Rewired made, ev made everything together, you know? It was a small puzzle. Maybe I was missing one part or my goals or uh, something, you know? Uh, I need to work on something. So required help to organize everything, to make it as a, a huge pack and then to work on it step by step and to, to, to organize my mind and my psychology much better to know, okay, I have for these two trades this week, I had a little bit of FOMO. Why I have this FOMO? For this reason, for example, okay, I have to write down 10 times per day for 20 days, wait for the counter to be closed. That's it. Just wait for, a, for an hour to go over, do 15 minutes more. It's not mm -hmm. the end of the world. When I was waiting, I knew I have to wait or no, I don't have to wait the, the, the trade. And the trade was a winning or I didn't suck it, it was a loss if I was taking it. So it helped me a lot to organize all of my thoughts, all of my psychology make in one part mm -hmm. together, more organized, more stable. And to know it was a guide to know what to do and how to act when I need to. Yes. Because yes. everybody will know what to do, but sometimes we don't know when to do it, you know? Yes. So Rewire helped us a lot, helped me actually, personally. And a lot, I took it a, two months ago. I was like in the fund. I, I found difficulties for some things. I don't know. I have to take it. Done. Mm -hmm. Do it. Be disciplined. You have to do whatever they say. Three months, actually. And that's it. And I see the change after the first month. That, that's it. Something like uh, changing my entire psychology, my mind. I love that. I love that. And what you'll notice, things that you've listened to and absorbed, they may not come up right now. They might come up in three months from now. And you will just, you will just autopilot, do something. And you'll forget, how did I know to do that? It's because the program is intentionally designed to give you the tools to have the self-awareness, to realize in the moment, to regulate your emotions. I would almost say this, even if you could just get from rewired, the ability to regulate your own emotions and just be self-aware enough to realize what you're thinking and feeling while you're trading, even that would be enough for you to start trading hundreds of thousands, let alone all the other modules of self-image, image correction, affirmation, and just how to get in the right state. There's just so much in it. So I'm so glad because the common commonality between successful traders, they all think a certain way. And you strike me, Thanos, as someone who is very black and white. You want to know what to do or not what to do. And then you're happy to follow that once you have the answer. Have you always been like that? No, of course, no, 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 no. I changed a lot now, you know, because before as a trader as well, I was thinking, Okay, I want to make 50k, 60k, 10k mm. per month, you know? Sometime, for example, August was slow. May was very good or January, you know? You, we, can, we don't know how the market is. So if you make expectations, you get this more stress. Now, first of all, I'm thinking about percentage-wise, and I'm not thinking a value of money. Because I know when I will be scaled up, when I want to be, 10% or 5% would be enough. So second, uh, what was the question? I got lost. <laughs> 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 you're, th you're thinking so much about your 50k seven and your seven figures yes, yes, I think. <laughs> uh, so essentially with uh you've made me lost as well now <laughs> uh, but just overall when you're 
when you're thinking about your trading the bigger accounts and psychology that you've gone through, et cetera, is there anything that has changed with the way that you think, right? So from your very black and white, what I would say is like, you know what to do and you know what not to, once you have the answer of like, do this or don't do this, you seem like you're just good at following that and accepting that. Have you always been like that or have you had no. to train, train your mind to think like that? That, that I think I was thinking about it last night too. I mm. was talking to Theo as well about it. Uh, that this is the most difficult part, I think, because mm. you know what to do, but the psychology and the the greedy the formal doesn't let you to do it. So you say, you know you you can you you have to wait five minutes, for example, to enter the trade, but you enter that time and you don't wait this five minutes. Like you can put a glass of water to drink and then come back. That's it. You know, it's not a big deal. So that was the the hardest part for myself to go through that, you know, to say, okay, wait, do something, you know? Mm. So because I spend a lot of time in my computer, so I'm always in the charts. So I'm trying not, not to avoid it or don't open it or have notification and that's it. But that was the most difficult part, I think, to to control myself, not act, not acting, you know, to be more calm and say, no, wait to see what's going on. If it's not this one, next one. It's better to miss a trade than to lose a trade. That's what I'm mm. thinking now, you know? That's that how I feel. Discipline. That's what it is. Discipline. discipline. You, you've practiced a lot of discipline because that waiting for the hour to close, that's discipline. All these are emotions. You know, if your plan says wait for the candle to close, you have to have the discipline to follow it. It's as simple as that. And once you can follow it enough and you've practiced, the good thing about discipline is that the more you do it, the stronger it gets. So it compounds. So if you can be disciplined in one small thing, you can do it in another thing and another thing. And before you know it, again, just going back to image, right? If you see yourself as a person that is disciplined, it will be easy for you to do it. If the image of you is someone who is not disciplined, it will be hard to do. It's very simple. So you start seeing yourself that I am a person that has great discipline. It you might not, a habit. Yeah, you might not believe it at the start. Yeah. And that's okay. But as you work at it, you prove it to yourself, right? How would someone become disciplined? Write two or three things down the day that you're going to do and do them. Don't do 10 things because you might not keep it up. Do one or two things, tick it off. And at the end of the day, I'm, I was disciplined to do it. And then do it again and do it again. And eventually you do five things, then six, then 10. And before you know it, you're walking, talking, thinking, breathing, disciplined person. And then that's obviously going to impact your results in a very positive way. That was my first mistake, actually. When I began doing uh, my process, my routine and stuff, I was putting a lot of things. And then I was getting lost. Mm. And I missed one and I missed that. And I was getting disappointed. Ah, why you don't miss, why you miss it, you know? I said, no, one thing at a time, two things at a time. You mm. do it like 10 days, 15 days, it becomes a habit. Like you wake up and you do the first thing in the morning, cold shower, for example. Okay, mm. go to the next one. Go to the next one and make a nice routine for how long time you have. Like an hour, two hours in the beginning, when I, before you start your day. Do your routine or in the night. And that's it. But one, two things at a time. Because then you get stress. And then again, psychology, more pressure. And that's it. doesn't work again. So you have to do, do it smoothly. Yes, and do things that work for you as well. Is there anything that you, do you have any non-negotiables that uh, have found that work for you, whether it's in the morning or in the evening? Is there certain things you do, whether it's cold shower or meditation? Is there something that you almost can't live without? Like these things I, I have to do every day. When, uh, cold shower, wake up. I'm Actually, I'm waking up, taking cold shower, and then I'm doing uh, like a 15 minute, no, 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes uh, breathing exercise and meditation. Breathing, yeah. Uh, when I don't do that, sometimes, you know, I, I skip it because I'm always a little bit late, for example, for something. Uh, I see all of my day is, day is more stressful. Mm. So now I say, no, I have to take even if I cannot 10, I will do five minutes, like five minutes is like nothing, you know. So preparing a coffee in five minutes within a five minutes, you know, of course. because I see the, the rest of the day I'm in peace. You know, anything, I don't have any distraction. Whatever happened in my life, I'm very calm, quiet, and I take care of everything before. If I don't take it, I'm like a anxious how what's going on, you know, more nervous. And exactly. that's more trading this one. And that's how simple success is. That, but is again, we go back to the same word, discipline. It's so yes. easy for you, five minutes, as you said, coffee, it's five minutes, but it's discipline. The things that you need to do to be successful are never difficult. It's just difficult to do them every single day and be disciplined to do it. Because let's be honest, the whole year, you're going to have days where you wake up and maybe don't feel... 100% yourself that's normal but it's on those days that you still do it is proving to yourself that I'm not going to let my mind take over because I'm in control I'm in charge right I'm in charge of this however I feel and I notice there's a direct correlation between again window of opportunity in the morning 
most people, and I would say 99.9% of the population, wake up every day and think about their problems without even realizing it. They don't even know they do it. They wake up and they go, the alarm clock, they're like, oh, I have to get ready. Um, oh, and, um, have I packed my lunch? Their mind is all over the place from the moment they wake up and they wonder why they're anxious and stressed all the time. And this is something not a good example for me too. When I wake up, I was like, okay, it's another day, good day. Think, positive, think a positive thoughts, gratitude thoughts, you know. Before we go to bed, I do the same. Yes. And I wake up different person, literally. If you, yeah. someone does it for a week, morning and night, he will call me and say, yeah, you're right. You're right. You know, exactly. The only this, like think about one minute in your life before sleep, before you close your eyes and when you wake up. That's it. So simple. Do it. And yeah, you see a lot of difference. A lot of difference. Uh, exactly that. If you don't do it the night before and you go to sleep thinking about, again, stress or whatever problems. And the thing is, it's the consciousness. You don't realize you're doing it. Most people don't intentionally wake up and go, I'm going to be as negative as possible. People just wake up and just think about stress the same way they go before they go to sleep. They're like, I've got to go to work tomorrow. It's, it's just there, just ticking around. Where if they change that, say, right, I'm really grateful I have a roof over my head. I'm grateful that I have the opportun opportunity to be learning a skill that could provide me with freedom in the next five to six months. I'm actually working towards, oh, I'm grateful that I have the courage to actually do something outside the norm. If you go to thought, if you go to bed with those thoughts, that's a completely different energy when you wake up in the morning. When you wake up in the morning, you're like, I'm grateful that I woke up today. I'm grateful I have good people around me. If you if you can just change that behavior, even like you said, for seven days, you become a different person and it becomes addictive because you know when you skip it, you feel completely different. Your whole day yes. is off, yeah? I miss sometimes to want to think of my routine. I'm feeling lost. Like it's like it's not a big deal, it's something a small thing, you know, like mm. oh, I'm missing this, you know, very lost. But however, what you mentioned before, for example, I woke up one day and I'm like tired or something. It's normal. When I do my routine, discipline, those days, the difficult days, I feel more successful because I did it than the days I'm uh, normal. Because I push myself, I say, You did it now, you you you're you're able to do whatever you need, you know, you can move forward. That's it. Power of the routine. Power of the yeah. routine and power yeah. of you sticking to your word. Every single time, it works positively and negatively. When you stick to your word, every single time you break it, you almost break on a sub... Because remember, the subconscious, it doesn't know the difference. When you break it, your subconscious is intelligent. So it goes, oh, this is someone who doesn't stick to what he says he's going to do. And you break like a micro contract with yourself that you said you was going to do something and then you prove to yourself that you didn't do it. And if you do that too much eventually you just become someone who writes things down who doesn't do anything and then you program it the opposite way which is so important if anyone is feeling any kind of way and you're struggling to get that routine it's probably because you're trying to build five positive habits in one go it's too difficult just stick with one just even if you don't have a great evening routine start with a great morning routine even if you can fix that first and then move on go to the next stage into the next stage and before you know it you have five amazing habits that are going to carry you through to success. Yeah, 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 I totally agree. For example, when I start doing my wake up routine, uh, I realized I have to wake up 30 minutes earlier to be able to be as ready I want for the markets. Right. As far as I change that, 30 minutes, it's nothing. I see totally different, like my routine, my results, everything, totally different. Wow. Just 30 minutes, you know, yes. it's like amazing. So simple. I actually, uh, I've explained this before. Ibi, right? Ibi is a, a great example of that. Uh, I'm always big on when, when someone is struggling to get consistent, before they look at technical analysis and their trading plan, first always look at how do you get up in the morning? I'm more interested in that first because sometimes that's more d damaging. So for Ibi, he noticed that. We was having a conversation years ago. I said, what time do you wake up? I was just curiosity. And it was just that. That was the only difference. And when he fixed that, his results improved. Imagine Ooh. imagine if you didn't do that and you, you thought something's wrong. Let me look at my technicals. Change your trading plan too much. Without fixing just the way that you get up in the morning, you could have actually disturbed something that you had that was already great. So you're already a great trader. Your technicals are already great. You just need to adjust how you go to sleep and how you get up in the morning. How, how the amazing basics. is that? The basics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like amazing. Yeah. No, no, no. Small things, simple. That's what I like in the strategy too. You know, I was talking with some friends, you know, they want to trade. I saw them my charts. Oh, that's it. 
a black screen with a candles and two lines, <laughs> yes, the life is simple, you know, that's the most difficult part, simplicity. Yes. So even in the daily routine, everything is so, this is the thing I love in Falcon, you know, it's as much simple can be, everything, even routine and strategy, whatever, for the psychologist as well, for the reward. And this is, the results are amazing. With the simplicity, that's mm -hmm. the, because we're last human humans want to make everything complicated, you know, no, simple, no overthinking, not too much thinking, that's it. One, two, three, done. The, the ego wants to make everything complex. Remember, it's a, it's a very, very insecure mask. It wants to feel intelligent. It wants to feel important. It wants validation, wants recognition, keeping things simple. Yeah. Uh, I, and I got this from my mom and uh, my family before with, with cooking, right? Keep it simple. Some of the most simple recipes taste the best. Pasta, yes. garlic, olive oil, parsley. I'm not going to release the full recipe because that's a, that's a, <laughs> my mom's secret. But sometimes yeah. the most simple things, I've actually learned this in life, right? To, to, to In all seriousness, that the simple things in life tend to taste the best, tend to be the best. Simple things like whether you think you can or whether you think you can't. That, that quote changed my life years ago. So I realized, so simple. You either think that you can or you think you can't. It was never anything... Uh, complex with a complicated algorithm it was always the simple things and i put that into my trading into my routine into my life into just everything and my life changed for the better and uh, it's great to see so many of you uh take that on board and, and do that for yourselves honestly it's amazing to see you feel it you know when you are simple you are the less stress you have your mind is not busy for 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 garbage you know like no, you don't need like a overthinking or more information. You don't even know, want them, you know? So that's the, yeah, that's, no, I love simplicity. Like, I love it actually. Through the community, right? You've, uh, you've stepped into this, you, you see the bigger goals. What does, what are the bigger future and goals for you when we talk about things like Dubai, um, bigger trading accounts? How, how do you see yourself within that vision? Have you visualized that? Of course, every day, all day. <laughs> <laughs> a part of the dance, I promise to you. Yeah, a part I'm, of I'm looking Dubai forward dance. to that. Uh, you know, I say that to you, I think, also in some meetings. Uh, I always dream in my life about trading. I was dreaming to be a trader like since I was very young, but I never yeah. had the resources. So that's why I started when I was in the United States. And then I'm dreaming myself like I've been with a network where everybody in the same face, the same page, the same job, the same interest, you know? Mm -hmm. and we can have whatever we want doesn't mean that we'll be greedy or not you know no usually no i will be the same person as i am now mm -hmm. uh, but you need to you will have whatever you want you make your siblings happy first of all and uh, more quiet your family the, the people you need to take care of and just free you want to travel okay let's say mark let's have a coffee i don't know in dubai in london in europe let's do it okay sunday we can go to london we'll have a meeting for this thing you know just to be free, that's wealthy, it, free. independent. Yeah, independent. No, I can work from Dubai, from Greece, from London, from uh, Latin America. Mm -hmm. Doesn't doesn't matter, you know. So that that's how I feel myself. Like I can have whatever I want without having second thought. I can I do that? Uh, maybe you know. No, I will do it done. And that and that's what I get excited about for yourself and so many other people. And I've never felt more confident. For me, I can I can sleep at night knowing. Does everyone have every resource they could possibly need and probably 10 times more? Yes, We're without a shadow of a doubt for years already. And I just keep building more and more and more. And it's because of moments like that. That's what I used to visualize that not always these big official meetups. It would be the simple things of, say, for example, you say to me, Mark, I'm going to be in Paris uh, next week. Do you want to meet for a coffee? Yes, let's go. And there's just two or three of us. Maybe there's 10 of us. It's, it's moments like that of knowing that your network is now everywhere, everywhere. And these people that you meet up with, they're all successful. They all have the right mindset. They all have good principles, good ethos, because like attracts like, right? You know that we all we all connect and feel like we've known each other for years. It's because it's the right energy. And when you have that, you know someone maybe in San Francisco or maybe in uh, Colombia that you need to contact with. It's like, right, who's around? Everyone's around. And the fact that you can tap into that, that doesn't exist. It's not normal for people to have that level of powerful network in all parts of the world. It's the reason we're in over 150 countries. So our mission is still strong. I want to make sure we've got in every single continent, savage traders with a great mindset that we can tap into. So for me, it's we're moving in the right direction. 
You know, the network with Falcon, I will tell you the difference of what I believe they have. It. Because usually some networks, they won't take advantage of you. Mm. Other networks. Falcon does the opposite. For example, if uh, I grow, you grow. If you grow, I will grow. You know, with the same my coaches, the same the, my all the network. If I is still growing, everybody will grow. Everybody will get something, experience, another idea will be. It's not only about money. You know, everything mm-hmm. like a lot of things, different things in life. So that's why everybody is so open in Falcon. The thing I liked in London, I was like, I step in a table. Hey, hi guys, I'm Tano. I didn't know anybody. Just mm-hmm. some names I see in the Discord. You know, or in the mm-hmm. meeting. Ah, welcome, how are you? Is you, you know, like no having negative or second thoughts. Uh, maybe everybody's so open. Everybody, mm-hmm. I mean, 100%. Not like okay, 50, 50. No, everyone I talk, 90.999%, just 1.0.1 for to who have to put something, you know? of course. Yeah, <laughs> was like very open, very nice. I changed uh, WhatsApp with everybody. Some people who went for a letter for a dinner for a dinner, you want to come, come over. You know, I felt so peaceful. So the energy, then sometimes some when someone has a negative energy, you feel it, you know? Yeah, of course. I yeah. haven't felt that for no one there. Mm-hmm. Totally no one. Mm-hmm. So it's another thing. I love that trip, you know, in London. It was like middle of August. For a good big, you know, it's different here. So no, 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 no. I love the best trip I did so far 2022. Love that. It's commitment. It's that all in mentality. When you're all in, this is what I always say to people. When everyone says, Oh, I'm struggling to get results, I always want to look for for first. How are you? What is your day to day? What does it actually mean? Because no one ever leads with someone that is normally struggling, they're not doing what they need to do. It's as simple as that. They haven't, it's either too early, they've not put the work in, and no one leads with, Hey, you know, I've been doing five hours a day of this. I turn up to FX Live every morning. Um, I'm having a coaching call once a, once a month, for example, if they're in a position to do so. Uh, I've watched this amount of content. I've back-tested this. I've had three different trading plans. You know, like someone you could see, they've done all of the work. No one leads with that. No. So yeah. normally, there's still so much more for a student to do, but we've been trained to be quite weak. That if you've put a lot of hours in, maybe you've been working your ass off of what you think for six months, you're not got results yet. It's very easy for your mind to go, oh, but that's enough. Like I surely I should have, I should be making money right now. I should be trading this. And then when those thoughts come in, it just leads to like a negative spiral. But what people actually need to do is look at themselves and go, am I actually performing anywhere close to what a successful trader is doing. So if I visualize a successful trader from his routine in the morning, in the evening, how he thinks, books that he reads, his mind, am I doing any of that or am I doing 10% of that? Yeah, you know, uh, I, I've done in the past some things for my life, my studies, etc. And after a few years, it became very big. Uh, you know, very famous. People that are in my, my in the same years and my age, they became rich, uh, etc. So I was totally telling my family like a few months ago, the thing with trading, I will continue until the end, period. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, very committed and disciplined until I'm billionaire. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I know, I feel it. That's the that's the thing. I want to do it and I feel it. So, and I don't get it too much. Like, okay, let's say back testing like all day long. No, no, it doesn't work. If mm-hmm. maybe I do 30 minutes per day, it's more productive than to do five hours. Exactly. When I feel tired, I'm leaving or I'm opening the market. I remember I asked you one day in the one meeting live, I said, Sometimes I've seen the market and I don't understand anything. And you said that's normal because you change your blueprint and uh, your psychology now and the strategies that you knew before. And that was true. I took some rest a day or two and then I became, okay, now I understand everything I'm moving forward. Mm -hmm. And if you do too much again, you need to find the balance. And everybody has his own balance. And a lot of people want to read an hour per day, another like 15 minutes, but the same production. You know what I'm saying? So you have everybody has to work himself, but has to follow all the rules to move forward you remind me of something very important the difference between traders that win or not is traders that make trading their lifestyle are the ones that win trading that fit their lifestyle around trading don't win it's as simple as that is trading your lifestyle it's a question everyone has to ask them I i made trading my lifestyle from day one 15 years ago i made trading my lifestyle people asked in the first four years when you didn't really make any money did you sometimes be on the chart did you have a break for a couple of weeks break doesn't even exist what do you mean break i'm obsessed with this it, it's more difficult it's so easy to go onto the charts it's like you're drawn to it if that's what you want you are all in so the question you've got to always ask yourself am i making trading around my lifestyle or is trading my lifestyle because that's what trading is so for example 
let's say you want to learn and you've got a busy schedule with your work and then maybe you've got a few things to do on the weekend you might say to yourself i need to do asr i take i've taken four trades i need to dig into those to see whether good trades bad trades do the work that you need to do the maintenance work but your mind tells you i want to go out for friday night with some drinks i want to do this so your mind starts to prioritize events drinks going out before trading and that's normally a telltale sign straight away versus someone will go to they'll say to their people first right saturday i'm busy for four hours because i'm doing this work first i'm free after then so it's just a different way of thinking it's a small little thing but it makes a massive difference it's just four hours you know i was talking with some uh, with a friend yesterday from my passing the assessment mm -hmm. and he said to me i'm i i'm very happy and very surprised you're very committed that's why i'm inspired from you i was like and i was thinking later like what what he means committed i, I want to do this done i will do it and i will fix the rest of my life because i want to succeed to be one of the best on this one you know so i have to kick my ass of course and that's mm -hmm. what i did 10 months that's why i was very emotional when i emotional when i passed but no it's not like i'm not doing it or i will not be committed or I will... no 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 you do this first priority and then the rest the rest they can wait for a year or so after i will be like so success how successful everything can come back i don't care you know that's exactly. it exactly and the way that you're trading the way that we look at the markets you're not glued to the screen all day long you know no. when you've got even 300 400 500k you're not going to spend more time in front of the charts. You're just going to do exactly what you do, more freedom, and that's the best thing about it. And then a 5% a month actually becomes a very big deal. You know, right, okay, you know so with really... AFT, of course, one trade per week. One per <laughs> week, I will be happy. <laughs> in the beginning, when uh, some people told me, I said, no, it's impossible. You know, you have to take three, four per day. I did that too in the beginning, of course. Yeah. Now, uh, this is what I'm saying. One, maximum two per week, I will be super happy. Imagine with the, within like five days when the market is open, mm -hmm. you just need two days, two good, the best opportunity you can find. That's it. And you're like free. And then you can make eight, 10% per month, you know? Exactly. Like a lot of money. So that's it. And I think that's the, the most exciting thing to be able to, the whole point of your trading, remember why you're trading. You're trading to be free, not to be glued to the screen all day long, which you is You have why... a life. Exactly. You exactly. Have a life. That's it what life are you building you know that's what traders are not thinking about they compromise their life based off of oh but i saw this person he took a ten thousand pound account to a hundred thousand pound yeah but he sat there all day long chasing the market it was probably stressed sweating all day long eating yeah. really unhealthy you can only do that for maybe one year and eventually you're not going to keep that up for years and years where the person this is where slow is fast do it the right way and eventually you'll be the person you know, sipping margaritas on the beach, as they would say, you know, with your laptop, with actual Wi-Fi, you know, so you will actually have Wi-Fi and you'll be able to just live your life and do whatever you want. And just with a laptop, imagine you built a system in a way that you took 10 trades a day. You wouldn't be able to do anything because even if you actually find it and you can sustain it for the rest of your life now, all day, every day, you're by the screen. Imagine you have kids, you have commitments, you want to do all these things. It's no, sorry, I can't, you know, I'm doing 10 hours. And you're basically a factory worker. You're a factory trader at this point. Actually, I will ask you to you another question. You asked me about how I'm, I'm dreaming. Actually, I was dreaming. That's why I'm talking about Dubai. Mm. Because I was, I'm thinking like, okay, I will wake up in Dubai, in a spare house, whatever. I will do my forecast and I will talk my Falcon buddies and I said, okay, do you have anything, any trade to take or something? Or, okay, let's have a for breakfast. Let's go by the beach, by the pool to drink a coffee, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then that's that's how I'm thinking my life now on, you know? So just checking my markets in the morning, as I do every morning. And then I have some opportunities, some notification on my phone. And that's it. Go out, live your life. Okay, you see good opportunity, you enter and you go. A part of the other meetings we need to do. Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's who we live um, our life, you know? Amazing. I won't mention too many details on here about the Dubai expansion, et cetera. So we'll keep that exclusively for the community. Of course, I'll be sharing more details on the Monday live. But seriously, where we are heading is... It gives me goosebumps even just thinking about it. And that's what pushes me. You guys and girls push me because it's like, right, if I have to deliver, I have to be a better version of myself. I have to be a more uh, disciplined version of myself in order to get these things that are not easy. You know, it's not even uncomfortable for me. Just because I've achieved success doesn't mean these things are not difficult. I still have to manage everything. I still have to be uh, brave enough to go after it and think, right, I have to big expectation, you know, but I love it. And you guys and give me the energy. Too, eh? I know yes. how you feel the responsibility. Uh, yeah, you see? Yeah, I understand. So that's why when I always say, 
listen, we've got everything covered. All you need to do is follow the resource, follow the plan. You'll get there in your own time. And there will be opportunities for you that you couldn't have even dreamed of right now. And all you need to do is take the next step just for today. Just for today, I'm going to back test. Just for today, I'm going to stick to my morning routine. Incrementally move forward. Everything else is taking care of you. And never in this industry, in this space. No, no one's doing what we're doing. It's as simple as that. No one. No, no, one, no, no. Not this type of infrastructure. You might do a few things similar. And that's not to say... We're better than everyone else. I don't mean that. What I mean is, this is what we're doing. We, My goal was to do something different to what everyone in this space is doing. We have it. We have the infrastructure. And we're just going to keep moving higher and higher because I know that is what is needed. Getting someone to a funded account is not enough because we already know the statistics. People can lose their funded accounts very quickly by not having the right mindset. There is so much more that has to go on. What type of person, network, money working for you after when you're making money. There's so many things that come into play. So I'm looking forward to that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. You know, I'm, that's why I said in the beginning, like for me, I had less stress now because I know I'm in. Mm. Now it's up to me. I know the strategy. I know I have to work in a few things on my psychology. As I said, like waiting time a little for the candle as well. Mm. And that's it. I know if I do this correctly, I will enter less trades with more profit. That's it. Mm. it's simple as it is you know just as i said wait 15 minutes i'm saying that for me to hear it as well you know exactly in your subconscious exactly but, so tell me uh, but, but thanos through that now you feel more confident right that you're that those little small details you know i wait for this i wait for that i'm sure you must feel so much more calmer just day to day with your trading plan you know you, you, of course you're still naturally going to improve is there any, what is the next step for you of improvement? Actually, as I said before, today I was looking at CJ. It, was in, it is in a very nice uh, high value area. Mm. I saw a rejection uh, on one hour. It was like 70% or 80% mm. of the green candle, the red one. Mm. I said, no, I'm going to wait. We have 20 minutes and end up with a lot of a big week. I said, no, I'm not going to take it. And the next one was like, no week, nothing. You know, and I said, no, I'm going to wait. Done. It's passed. I like two months ago, I was going to take it. Yeah. And to lose it or to be now with the stress, where is it going? Oh, it's Friday afternoon. Fuck, we have Monday coming. Shit weekend, you know? No, take it when it's time. Is it what I'm thinking? Like just one trade per week. That's it. And that is emotional regulation. That is that is so much growth in what you just said there. That's where people are losing and that's where people can win. If they can just manage the way that they think, the way they feel during that time. I'm curious for you, Talos, before we wrap things up, what is what would you say to the community you've you've connected with people they've gone through this some people they they've not even gone through a funded process yet or they're going through it right now any words of wisdom through your process whether it be a funded trader or just the attitude that you think people need to have in the community to to take off goals similar to your achievement for us as you said i'm very optimistic mm. if mark can do it i can do it you know what i'm saying i told you in the meeting i want to trade as you as you do remember i wrote it to you yeah i don't want to whatever how you do it i want to do it so you have to believe believe in yourself first of all you have to say okay i will do it committed disciplined doesn't matter any distraction i have in my life if you sacrifice 10 months a year two years of your life you're living the problems of your life and your their entire family as well so everything is working uh put my hand in the fire that's a great exp a great exp ex 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 mm -hmm. ex expression so you have to put the work you need to do to change your mentality and to be successful, to believe it in yourself and then in the strategy. And yeah, that's it. Follow Love the rules. That's it. That's it. Love Just that. follow Love the rules, you know? <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking the time firstly to jump on. Like oh, I said, you. your attitude from day one is very, very clear. And I'm sure now students listening, they're going to be infected by that in a very positive way. Maybe some people I have hope. been very casual. So I, I, no, hope, no, I, I hope, hope everybody well. going to follow that and the group's going to be even bigger, you know? Well, that's it. We move it forward. So Thanos is going to give us the, the seven-figure trading um, dance in Dubai. So we, we've heard it. I promise first. that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. But again, congratulations, man. You deserve it. You've been disciplined. You've done everything you need to do. And now it's just about staying calm for the next process. And I'm confident you'll take off those extra doubles and you'll you'll have that freedom quicker than you know it. But in the right time in your own lane. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I'm so happy, so proud to be part of this group and this project. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for jumping on and look forward Thank to seeing you. you progress. Have a Take great care, day. Brother. Have Thank a great you. day. Bye-bye.